The Life Cycle of a Frog by Mr. G's second grade class. A mom and dad frog fall in love. And when the mom and dad frog fall in love, that's when the life cycle begins. The mother frog swims to the bottom of the pond to lay her eggs so they are safe from harm. Down and down and down to the bottom of the pond the mother frog swims and begins to lay her eggs. Not just one egg, many, many eggs. And when she's done laying her eggs, guess what she does? She swims back to the top of the pond. Well, inside of those eggs are something special. They're tiny little tadpoles. The tadpole hatches from the egg. That's what happens next. And the tadpole swims and swims. In this part of the life cycle, the tadpole has no legs and has no lungs to breathe, so it has to stay in the water. But then the tadpole starts to grow legs. And when it grows its legs, it can swim faster and faster and faster, but that's not always good because growing up's not easy. When the tadpole starts to swim faster and faster, fish and other big creatures in the pond try to chase it and eat it because it looks so good. But now it's a frog, the last part of the life cycle. When it has all four legs and lungs, the frog now swims to the top and can breathe air just like a human. And after all that work, frogs get really hungry. And when they're sitting on their lily pads, they eat insects like this fly that we see buzzing around, buzz, buzz, buzz. And how does a frog eat that? Not with a fork and spoon, but with its long, sticky tongue, just like you see. Wow, that was awesome. The end. Backgrounds and figures all created by Mr. Gene and his superclass. Students and teachers who created this movie, Blaney, Bree, Nolan, Animal, Caitlin, Nick, Lauren, Josh, Brianna, Nevea, Mariah, and Mr. G. And a special thanks to all the parents who donated the Play-Doh.